Hello, welcome to FEM Expert. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to perform a backlink analysis utilizing a simple compressed beam. So for that, we're going to go into the ANSYS interface. And what we're going to simulate today is a simple beam having a 0.3 meters length with a a uh, round section of 20 millimeters. We're gonna solve, we're gonna perform a simulation with a force of a of 100 newtons, and then we're gonna check the results for backlink. We're gonna evaluate if there's backlink, and we're gonna explain to you how to perform these simulations. So for the first thing, we're gonna go and define the element type, element type one, 188. Then we're gonna do material properties. We're gonna define the material properties for steel. So material properties, then um, EX, Young's modulus for material 1, 2.11, A11, 2.1, 10 to the 11th pascals, MP material properties for Poisson's coefficient for material 1, 0 0.3, material properties, density for material 1, 7,850 kilograms per cubic meter. We go here, dense, sorry, I made a mistake here. So it's dense, not dense. So here now we, with all these commands, we have the element type, the material properties. We need to define the sections, beam common sections, section one, feet, phi 20, fi 20, that will be phi from phi from the Greek letter, but it's spelled in Spanish. And we go to 0.01. We can preview this, that will be the section, the properties of the section, OK. And then we go to create the geometry. So we're going to do a K plot. We're going to create L plot. We're going to create a K comma 0 in the first coordinate and K comma 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 0 0.3 in the Y direction. So now we're going to do a line between K points 1 and 2. And we'll look at it. And here we have line one. This line is going to have that section. So we're going to go into meshing. Although we only have a line, we're going to do this just so you have the idea and you can contrast what we're doing. We're going to go to meshing, pick lines. We're going to select this line. OK, and mesh attributes. So it's going to be material one, section type one, and section one. We hit OK. And then we go to size controls. Actually, we will do LE size, comma, all, comma and 0 0.01, 0, 0, 0, 0.005, 5 millimeters. Or you can do 5 divided by a 1,000 if you don't want to make mistakes. And then we're going to do L mesh, comma, all. We can check on the beam with the e shape. This is what we have, so it's a very simple beam. We do dk, comma p to restrict the bottom of it. We're going to put all of the degrees of freedom under zero, and we're going to do fk, comma p. We're going to put a force that's going to be on the y direction minus 100 newtons. So this is the full model. We're going to do all cell e plot. We can actually probably do L plot. Here we have the force in the restrictions because we apply them on geometry uh, things. So geometry entity. So we're gonna go to solution and we're gonna solve this model. The solution is done. We're gonna look at post one, P and solve U sum. So the, the way we would understand this is, and which obviously would be the case, we would have the force aligned with the beam so we will have a compression. You can compare this if you look, uh, if we look at the vect u, we can see the, the vectors. So we can see here the deform and non-deform for weight. So this beam uh, technically, or in theory, if everything is perfect with it, it would not have any issues and it would not have any problems. It would just have a compression, like if we put it on a, on a let's say a press bench. That is not the case in general. You could have buckling, and buckling is a property of geometry and other characteristics, the length and geometry of the of the beam, where the beam would kind of lose its stabil stability and it would become unstable, having a mm, buckling mode. 
this process is extremely important in engineering because if you have a, a force of back, a backing force so you reach the level of that backing force there is no way of stopping the backing process and it takes place extremely fast so it's extremely important to simulate in engineering so in order to do that we're going to go to once we perform the static solution we're going to go to solutions we're going to do analysis type we're going to do new analysis and we're going to go to eigen backlink here we're going to go to analysis options and we're going to go get the modes to extract normally we want to extract one mode the other modes are theoretically they're possible and we're not interested in them as, as from the practical point of view so we just get this the multiply and the shift we don't touch them we do this and then we do solo and solve the solution is done so then we go to general post processing read results and we see by pick so the first mode is at 450.35 so if we do we plot the displacement this displacement summation the no sorry so by the first set sorry so here if we plot this we're gonna have this displacement we don't we cannot use the e shape we'll have to take it out in order to plot these results zero zero and we look at the summation displacement so what ANSYS is giving us here well it's kind of giving us a deformation it will kind of tell us it will give us a theoretical deformation which would be sideways it doesn't particularly matter what side is going because it could be completely um, it could be it could be taking place in any of the directions uh, the program calculates it in a theoretical direction but this could happen in any of the directions what are we interested in which is not exactly a frequency it would be a coefficient is this 450 325 this means that the force that we have mm, has a uh, safety margin of 450 let's say it would be either that or that we have to multiply our force with 450 point three five two five two in order to obtain backlink so this can be verified by going into the model so we're going to take note of this value is 450.352 and we're going to go into the solution we're going to do an L plot and we're going to put an fk comma p we're going to put this and we're going to do minus 100 multiplied by 450.352 3552 so we have a bigger force that was in multiplying the force by the coefficient that we obtained we're going to solve solve general post processing we're going to read the results first set and we're going to plot the solution again i just made a mistake so we have to bear in mind that first before we do something we have to do the static analysis so you have to do the static analysis first solve and then you have to go and do the buckling analysis so i just made a mistake it's a very common mistake eigen buckling okay you ignore that message so new analysis eigen buckling we hit this solution and solve the solution is done and then we look at the results first result by pick and we have the coefficient one we look at the results again the displacement is similar so this means that the force that we would need would be the force that we obtain by multiplying this um, 450.352 by 100 we can look at here we can list loads for example loads forces on all nodes and the force that we need in order to have buckling in our beam with a compression load would be of minus or 45,035.2 newtons the direction is negative because the, the force needs to be compressing the beam in order to have a buckling and that would be it for buckling analysis i hope uh, you enjoyed this presentation and if you find our tutorials uh, useful please share our videos and like our channel